Hello, everybody. <clears throat> I had a little bit of a voice crack there. That's kind of embarrassing. Um, anyway, as you can see, things are starting to look like a, a real room in here. But this is my um, July TBR, and um, it's kind of crazy. Um, first off, all of you should be reading Anxious Anxiety now that it's out. It just came out. This is early short stories from 2007 to 2013. Eleven horribly weird, anxiety-filled, um, horror tales. They're not really horror, but they feel like it. So, links for that will be down below. Um, just go to my Etsy shop. Now, um, what we're reading this month, the group read this month is oh, Lords of Chaos. Make sure you get new edition um, because Bell Biv DeVoe just can't cut it. Am I right? Oh, like three people got that joke. Okay. Um, anyway, um, man, uh, new edition and Bell Bib DeVoe joke while talking about Lords of Chaos. I have completely lost my mind, apparently. Um, but anyway, so there is a version of this on Audible. Um, I picked it up, um, so I could just listen to it while doing other things and then go through and, um dig through here. Um, this is a, it's a really good book. So, um, but yeah, make sure you get the new edition because the original edition of this was littered with inconsistencies and inaccuracies. Okay. So this is the buddy read for this month. Um, jump on the discord server. Um, we could start today if you guys have it, um, and just chat a little bit about it. Um, again, this is about the bloody rise of satanic metal underground. That's not really true. It's more of the um, the Norwegian black metal um, church burning and murders that ended up um, spreading um, to other parts of Europe for the most part. Um, so it's a pretty interesting book. It's a lot of fun. It's kind of true crime kind of. Um, then once we do that and once, um, the poetic anarchy course is over, <clears throat> we're halfway through it. And I got to tell you, I am blown away by what people are doing. Um, it's weird because there's people who are showing up every class and turning the homework in and everything. And then the other people who've signed up for the class who aren't showing up to the classes because of like time zone bullshit or whatever, um, they'll like, they're follow they're behind, but they're following along. And it's not that I forget they're in the class, but like I got to the point where I'm like not going to bug people about it anymore if they want to you know, do the work and participate. They're more than welcome to. I send them the emails, giving them the links and everything like that. But like, I'll just get a random email from somebody with, um, their homework attached and stuff. And I'm like, and it like blows my mind. It trips me out. But, um, seriously, everyone in this class is so fucking good. Like, I'm not even joking you. Like, um, if I end up doing another one of these, they're going to have, the next class is going to have a lot to live up to because this class is killing it. So once that's done, which will be um, around the 15th, I believe, um, we're getting back into Ligotti and we're going to finish this up um, because this was really cool and I was having a lot of fun with it, but um, I wasn't giving it my all because I overbooked myself. Um, so we're going to be doing that. I'm also reading in the cracks into the cracks by Holly day. 
this is freaking excellent. Um, I don't know why I'm surprised. Like, she could, like, I don't know, like, I, I'm trying to think of a good analogy. I was going to say, write herself out of a wet paper box. But that doesn't make any sense. But she's really fucking good, and it's refreshing. So, I'm excited about that. As far as Weird Mask goes, <clears throat> Weird Mask issue 25 is coming this summer. Um, I, I guess I'll just tell you the release date. The release date is August 13th. Um, I'm going to have pre-orders and all that shit up. It's going to be through Amazon, so the book will look nice and big and chunky and awesome. So if you are a booktuber and you want to submit something for it, please do. Um, I kind of feel like the biggest niche that Weird Mask has ever had has been um, booktubers. <clears throat> and some of the people who've been in a bunch of the issues of Weird Mask aren't really doing booktube as much anymore, which is kind of sad, and I miss them. But, um, yeah, it's just like there are some uber-talented writers here. And I don't want to make it to where it's like um, an exclusive club, you know, and all this other stuff. But I like knowing the people who are submitting. I like having a relationship with the people who are submitting because, like, I know what to expect from those people. Now, I'm not saying if you're not a booktuber, don't submit. But... Um, for the most part, this issue is kind of like a best of, but also a where it's going kind of thing. So it's, um, I'm, I'm enjoying putting it together. And I love the fact that it's going to be like a big issue and not these like 40 page issues. But anyway, so that's coming. There's that. Um... The next thing, things that are going to be showing up on Weird Mass this month that I'm going to be reading and doing videos on. <clears throat> so, first off, um, I forgot to check what chapter, and I wish I had the book here. Um, you can see it. It's right there. The Penguin Edition of Princess of Mars by Edgar Rice Burroughs. It's gorgeous. But um, on the weekends, we're continuing that and going through that. And when those chapters come up, I'll do little videos on, like, what's going on. So, in case you are um, reading along, um, I had actually quite a few people talk to me about um, wanting to do more Edgar Rice Burroughs read-alongs and stuff like that. <clears throat> so, um, that's that. So, um, there will be chapters of that coming out every Saturday and Sunday all month long. And then for the um, Conan chronologies, we're going back to that. Um, we When we last did that, we finished off Queen of the Black Coast. So this month we're going to be doing um, Shadows in the Moonlight, which um, between that and Queen of the Black Coast was the thing that made me um, completely throw my hands up in the air and say there's no way this is possible along this timeline and I got really sad um so we're going to be doing that and then um probably one of the most famous Conan stories a witch shall be born even though like half of it Conan's not even in um and then uh shadows is it shadows I always have call it man eaters of Zambula it's like seriously my favorite one of my favorites. Um, and then the next one is probably my favorite. Um, Zuthal at Dusk or The Slithering Shadow. So those are the Conan tales we're going to be going over this month. So, and those videos should drop 
on Wednesdays. So um, if you, because I know there's some of you out there, you told me what you purchased. I saw the books. I got really jealous. So if you're going to start reading Conan, these stories, they'll go by like that. You could like read it in like 20 minutes and you'll love it. So again, Shadows in the Moonlight, A Witch Shall Be Born, A Plane Shall Fucking Crash, because that's annoying, um, The Maneaters of Zambula, and um, The Slithering Shadow, or Zuthal of the Dusk, or whatever. Um, those are the ones we're going over. And then with the Cthulhu Mythos... Um, things we're doing here. <clears throat> um, you know what? I'm going to switch this up a little bit. I think I want to do just his stuff and then come back to ones that he wrote with other people. That's what we're going to do. So, um, uh, the whisper in the dark, that's, um, next. And then uh, probably the humdinger of all Lovecraft fans, At the Mountains of Madness. And then we'll do, um, actually, At the Mountains of Madness might take us through the whole month. Uh, yeah, that might take us through the whole month. Because the next one we're going to do is also a chunker for Lovecraft, which means nothing to, all right. So anyway, so, um, the whisper in darkness and, um, at the mountains of madness. Um, so if you want to read some Lovecraft and read along, um, whisper in the darkness is like seriously one of my favorite stories. I can't remember if it's Whisper in the Dark or Whisper in the Darkness, because there's also the Haunter in the Dark. Is that right? I don't know. Like, the thing that's funny about Lovecraft is that um, he was so influential that, like, the people who ended up writing stuff in his mythos, let's say, um, tried to... Uh, ape on the names of his, the titles of his stories... And, um, it's getting to the point now where, um, I feel like I don't even know what's right anymore. Uh, <clears throat> all right. <sighs> so that's what we're doing there. The other thing I'm going to be reading, and I only have six days left. Okay. Cause I started this yesterday. Um, Marvel Unlimited. Okay, I know. I can't believe it. But they're doing, um, they have like a week trial. So I went through, I don't know if you can see this, I went through and I like saved a bunch of the comics that um, I want to read because I want to know like first appearances and stuff and all this other shit. Um, and I got all excited. Um, and it's funny because it's so stupid. I, okay, this is where things are going to get done. But yesterday, just so you know, I read um, Marvel Comics number one from 1939, which had the origin of um, the Human Torch. And kind of an, or it wasn't really an origin story. It was just how man found Namor, the Submariner, um... And then there was this other story called The Angel in it that um, wasn't awful, but it wasn't great. And um, it was this dude in a superhero costume with this little, like, Errol Flynn mustache. I was, like, cracking up the whole time. But anyway, um, so that was a good read. But um, I, I wanted to read the original Clone Saga, not the one from the 90s that lasted, like, 80 fucking years, the one from the 70s, right after um, the events of, not it's not right after, but pretty close after um, the night Gwen Stacy died 
um, and the death of the Green Goblin. Like, I wanted, I've never read that, the um, original Clone Saga thing. So I was like, oh, I wonder if I could just find it on there. And sure enough, it's there. And then I was like, oh, you know what? I never read the, like, before or after with the Gwen Stacy thing. Maybe I should read that. And then I'm like, oh, you know what? Spider-Man started just, like, a few years before this. Maybe I could just, like, go back to Amazing Fantasy, what is it, 14 or 15? I don't know. Might be 17 for all I know. Um, And, uh, oh, Hawk, get out of here, buddy. Um, And I could just read all of Spider-Man and just go that way. And then I was like, oh, dude, but I really wanted to do that with X-Men, and I wanted to do that with Fantastic Four. Oh, shit. And so I, like, I'm like, okay, well, let me do it with this. And then, like, I'm, like, like or I'm saving the issues that I want to read or whatever. And then, like, there's an issue with Daredevil. And I'm like, shit, I should probably read the first Daredevil issue. Okay. And then I'm looking at that, and there's, like, an issue with Hulk. And I'm like, shit. And so, like, I'm going through. And then I just started looking by year because, like, this guessing game was not working out. Um, So I went through 1939 to 1970. And all of the number ones of everything they did, I have on here now. So I, um, and since I only read one comic yesterday, um... That sucks. But um, I basically have like six days to read like 47 comics or 78 comics or however many are on there. So um, I'm kind of freaking out about that. Lastly, um, next month, I know it's like the beginning of this month still. But next month, for the group read on Discord, we're going to be doing Fear and Loathing in Las Vegas. And in September, we're going to be doing Pulp. Okay? Now, I want you guys to buy these books because they're really good. But I don't want people to be left out. So there are avenues where um, you can... What, what What's going... Dude, my computer... You're on thin ice, dude. Keep fucking up, and there'll be a place for you in in the round file. Okay? This is driving me crazy. Anyway, there um, are places where you can listen to the audiobooks of those books legally on your end without having to pay for it. Okay, so if you want to participate in the August and September read-alongs, um, I could hook you up. You just got to get into the Discord chat and um, in the group reads, just go, yeah, I'm here, and you'll see links and stuff like that. So um, I, I don't like to... Um, I don't like to theft, but um, I also don't want a bunch of people to not be able to participate in stuff that's really cool and fun. So um, I guess I'm just going to be very socialist about these stories in this group read. I don't know what the fuck I'm talking about. It's still kind of early here. So anyway, um, I'm going to try to edit this train wreck of a computer trying to murder my video. And um, if you guys have any questions about anything, let me know down below. Anxious anxious anxiety is available right now. Limited to... Shit, I forgot to look. I think I, think I said 48. 48 copies um, signed. So um, all that will be in the links down below. Oh, and also, somebody asked me this a while ago um, about, like, my Spotify playlist and stuff. I have my um, 
I linked my Spotify in the uh, down below. So if you want to um, follow me on there and listen to what I'm listening to because my taste is exquisite, then you can do so. So until next time, everybody, um, kisses and bye-bye.